Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in this video, this is a uh, part three video of my tower project. And uh, I have this hinge here that I found on eBay. You can no longer purchase just the hinge alone for the Rhone 25G. Since I have this, I'm going to make well, not specifically me, but I want to start the process of uh, creating a hinge and um, hire a friend who can do the welding on this. Let me give you an example. This is Dominic's uh, tower. His call sign is W4DOM. And if you can see in the picture, he has those Roan 25 hinges and that creates a tilting mechanism. So you can unlock the first uh, bolt there and uh, that's the locking mechanism and the other two will be the pivot action. Since this is the only hinge that I can find on eBay, if you look at this hole pattern, it's the same hole pattern as this. So I labeled it as lock. The other two hole patterns are kind of like angled so that's going to be the hinge. They got a different hole pattern. Now this here, this the, the locking one, I'm going to measure the length from the tip of just the tube to the end of the tubes. All right. If you can see it there, it's four inches, 13 sixteenths long. So what I did is I marked with my permanent marker four inch 13 16 So I did that for all three legs. I need to cut that. I'm gonna use a hacksaw to cut all three legs straight across. And before I do that, I need to measure four feet because this part of the tower will be uh, located in the cement. We're just going to use this tower section uh, as a guide. So I'm just going to put this through here, line it up with the holes, place a bolt in there, and uh, draw a line. This is a uh, 15th or 5 16th bolt. So I just basically just put a bolt in here just for alignment. The holes lined up perfectly. I'll take my permanent marker and I actually marked this locking hinge so I know how to align this with the other tower, at the other tower section. Okay, I just put a new blade on my hacksaw and hopefully uh, Nice and straight, nice and stiff. Hopefully let's cut this nice and straight, 90 degrees. Just take your time. Well, my uncle came already and uh, he took the hinges. So I've already cut uh, the, the, the ends off on the, uh, the piece that's supposed to go in the, uh, the earth. So one thing that I saw that was gonna be a problem is right here. This, uh, all three of them, um, their weld is right here so if you were to cut this off actually there's not enough room for the hinges to 
to actually fit in here and then you got to drill a half inch hole so an idea um, when we had a conference with uh, Dom, Dominic W4DOM and my uncle uh, we came to the conclusion just to go ahead and cut here on all three legs and have a fresh have a fresh cut and then we'll move this Z bend down here and re-weld it onto the um, the tower itself. So after this is gone, then I have all this here to play with to actually to to put the hinge on the tower itself. So one will be the locking mechanism and then the other two sections will be the tilting portion, the actual hinge that goes into the tower and that's going to be the pivot point. So I made it known to him to when he puts them on and does the weld uh, to use that spare tower I got over here, this tower, that one right there, it's my spare one. So he's going to take that, put those pieces on the inside, okay, put the bolts in, and then weld uh, the quarter inch steel, and then later on drill the holes. So that's where I'm at now. That's uh, the hinge has been hauled away, and he's going to come back on a couple of days and bring his truck to pick up the base section and the other tower section. We're going to use that as a template. And now I got my three by three all formed up. While well, I'm still in the process, I'm putting it together, and uh, nightfall is about to come upon us and I'll be digging the hole, start digging the holes tomorrow. So this is where I plan to put the foundation for the um, 35 foot uh, Roan 25G. And I have my DX Commander right there. My shack is right there in the corner. And um, I'm not sure if I should build a, a under, underground um, cable routing. What do you think? have the cable routed underground that means I got to dig a trench all the way there and have a pipe sticking up with a, uh, a J, J hook so water can't go up and in, get inside there um, and then I got to block that off so lizards and creatures won't slide up inside that tube but uh, yeah it's gonna be here the stepper IR the the span of that antenna is about about 16 feet so that's gonna be touching the edge of the fence line um, I'm having the tower tilting in that direction from east to west west is in that direction and I want to put a standoff on the top about 35 feet so I can hook up my 80 meter double bazooka one leg under that tree and then the other leg perhaps in that tree here so this time create a more of a straight line versus it's currently like this. I get a 90 degree uh, bend. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get a good night rest and I'm gonna start the uh, digging process tomorrow. Um, I hope to get the, the building permit. Matter, matter of fact, uh, it, it got approved and I did pay a fee for that. In the event if someone complains that hey I got a tower I, I mean I got the authorization to build so that's it so stay tuned and the next day tomorrow I'm gonna start the digging process good morning it's day two of this um, antenna project this is part three video and uh, I got the permit approved I got the permit posted on the house and I talked to City Hall today. Uh, I told them about the commencement of uh, my project here. She says I don't have to notify them unless the project costs more than $5,000, which it doesn't. Today's event is basically digging a hole, measuring it, and make sure I, I meet those dimensions. It's cold today and it's uh, windy, a little chilly. I'm just going to move this aside, get it out the way. I spray painted 
my dimensions. It's three by three. My DX Commander, there's some ground radials there. So they're going out this direction. So what I'll, I'll do is I'll cut this this way and try to find those wires and then just pull them back, take them out the way. What I did find is an old coax. This is a coax, uh, uh, RG214 I think. It's an old one. I know I, I no longer use that. And here's one of the ground radials that uh, I will try to pull. If not, I'll just go ahead and cut it. Cool beans. We're going on four hours. It's just me solo. And uh, currently we're looking at, um, I don't know, looks like uh, one feet eight inches, maybe more than that. Let me look at the middle. It's approximately uh, two feet three inches. So now I got to go all the way down to four feet. I'm now using a a post digger to get those corners nice and square, and loosen up the uh, some dirt dirt, and then you dump it in the middle, and then I'll use my shovel to uh, get the dirt out of the hole. All right, I've been doing this about five hours solo, and uh, it's time for a lunch break. So I'm gonna have me a uh, a turkey sandwich, and we're predicting rain in the next two days. So uh, thanks for uh, Mike. He he uh, texted me when I sent him the photo. He said, "Hey, don't forget to put a tarp over that hole." And uh, I'm about two and a half feet deep. So I gotta go all the way to four. So let me have some sandwich and then I'm gonna continue digging. This is the beginning of Fox Hole. Wow. We are uh, three feet seven inches deep, and uh, I've encountered water. So, this is how I have to get out. I'm stepping in mud now, a lot of water. I got to crawl out like this. I just got out of there. It's uh, really muddy and I don't know what else to do. I, I got a couple more inches to go. I might just get the uh, post digger and and just pull the mud into these small little buckets just like this. And I don't want to get stuck in there. This is very deep. As I was doing this, I had a couple of passerbys to say, what are you doing? Are you digging all the way to China? <laughs> and I said, uh, no, I'm looking for gold. There's a treasure over here somewhere.
to up to here, um, I'll just say it's four feet. I'm actually like a half inch short on that side. Here, that's four feet right there. Looking good. Here is four feet. Over here is four feet. Well, this is the end of part three. Um, got the hole dug four feet. Um, looking good, all squared off and everything. Well, we're expecting rain in the next two days and um, it's windy right now. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cover the tarp and uh, make sure that no one uh, walks over here and falls in to the hole and ends up in China. Hey guys, thank you for watching. My name is Darren, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. So 73s, until next video, have a great day.